Obviously, KK and I are going to snuggle. So cute. Paul Bunyan art. All the wilderness details. We have a little patio, too. Ah! It's so pretty. There's the pool. There's more of the resort. This way is the main lobby. And then around that corner, is a little restaurant bar called Geyser Point that we're going to check out for sure. But let's go back in. I just love this resort. We've eaten at Whispering Canyon before. Little kitchenette, closet, full-length mirror, amazing bathroom, as always. Okay, oh, Kay! There's no tub! It's okay. <laughs> we're going to shower and get extra sleep then. Perfect. First thoughts on the resort so far. Ready, go. Um, the lobby is absolutely beautiful, breathtaking. Several places to just sit. It smells so good. Several places to just sit and observe or just sit quietly. And they have an indoor fountain as well. And so it's a really nice place to just sit and lounge. It's a big lobby, so it's a it's lot nice. of space. Huh? It's very nice. It's Yeah, very nice. And as she said, it smells really nice like, when you walk in. Amazing. It doesn't, smell, it doesn't have a hotel smell. No. It has a really, really nice aroma in the lobby. And that's where Whispering mm -hmm. Canyon, Canyon. Mm -hmm. Whispering Canyon is, where we had breakfast before. Yeah. And a different time, a different trip, but um, it was absolutely delicious and fun, too. Mm -hmm. uh, the cast and, and characters are very fun there. Very fun. And so tonight we're just going to observe some beauty out here. And it kind of makes you feel like uh, just from that lake view that you're out in the kind of the wilderness. So Love it's it. nice. Right outside our room was a viewpoint for the Artist Point Dining. It's currently closed, but when it is open, the theming is for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It is so precious. We cannot wait for this experience to be back. We're uh, waiting for a <laughs> the dining reservation. Enjoying our wait as we relax in front of the fire. <laughs> These rockers are very authentic. Yes. They're very, <laughs> They're very sturdy. <laughs> this is... This is very relaxing. Yes. Yes. The fire yes. Let's beautiful. let's see that.
Well, we have ordered a few fun things to munch on and some, we ordered a charcuterie board that's just, as you can see, just a little variety. Um, says it's good for two, so we'll be able to share that. A little uh, spicy edamame. So we're excited to munch on this. And then for dinner, we have ordered a bison bacon cheeseburger and a goat cheese, goat cheese, goat cheese portobello <laughs> salad on the side. A beautiful bison bacon cheeseburger and fries. And then a beautiful goat cheese and Good stuff. Just good stuff. Just good stuff. Balsamic vinegar, vinaigrette, and we'll see. And it has zucchini in it as well. Oh, wow. That's absolutely delicious. You are vegan, other than the, maybe vegetarian more like, other than the goat cheese, the balsamic, and the just slightly sauteed vegetables are delicious. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> and for a bite of the bison burger. It's <laughs> a tiny bite. Get a big bite. Oh, wow. Well. Cheeseburger will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> we are deliriously full, as KK just said. Delirious full. Um, that salad with the goat cheese this is my Killer, new man. favorite Killer. thing it was really really good highly recommend if you're a goat cheese person um bison burger was great the edamame by the way was phenomenal um that charcuterie board was classic the edamame was great <laughs> edamame was just good edamame okay it wasn't i don't it didn't wow you no it did okay. not wow me. It wowed me. But it was good. It was very good. It was good. Um, so and the charcuterie was yes. delicious, had lots of neat things on it. Um, we had the best little server. She had only been working there for four hours. She doesn't was awesome. know the menu. Didn't you wouldn't know. even know it. Yes, you wouldn't even know it. She was excellent. So overall, Geyser Point, even if you're not staying at Wilderness, is a great stop. the lounge inside of our resort at Wilderness Lodge and we decided to have a couple of little appetizers. So we are starting with a beautiful pretzel bread and cheese fondue. I'm so excited. This looks really, really good. A couple of nice refreshing drinks, some barbecued ribs and as an appetizer. And what else did we order? A uh, mushroom fist. A mushroom, a mushroom oh, bisque mm. soup. <laughs> so we are anxious to try those and enjoy. And just so you know, for this platter, you can get more pretzel bread for $5. Mm. Wow, there's a lot of flavor. Um, if you like mushroom, uh, you would love this. Um, little drizzle of what looks like a little um, olive oil, but Absolutely perfect, very creamy. A barbecue rib, let's see what this tastes like. Mm. Nice. 
It tastes nice. It's, a, it's got a good barbecue flavor. The sauce is nice and smooth. Um, not too spicy. Um, yeah, good for a barbecue bread. Okay, so we just ordered the chocolate strawberry pie, which is a seasonal favorite, and the flourless chocolate cake cauldron. Which one are you going to bite into first? I am going to try the chocolate pie because that is absolutely one of my favorites. Okay. So I'm going to take the strawberry to the side and give him a little cut with my fork so that I can have a bite of it. Is it cold? It seems very cold. Um, the crust looks like it's almost like cake. Oh. So let's try it all together. Okay, here we go. Face. That is scrumptious, but that is one of my favorite combinations, chocolate and strawberry, and I love chocolate pie. And in the little small miniature shareable version like this, it's it's delicious. What you having, Beasley? <laughs> I'm having the flourless cauldron cake. But look at that! It's almost like a lava cake, just wow just done a little differently. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay. I just can't help but always getting a big bite. I, I think see it's, that. It's just, <laughs> it's just what I do. Okay. Mm. Wow. What an expression for the first taste. So you're all into that flourless cake, I'm huh? into the flourless cake. <laughs> You were somewhat reserved about that. Yeah, but this is amazing. If you love chocolate, this is for you. Overall, we truly enjoyed our stay at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. We could not recommend it enough. The theming was perfection. Disney truly outdid themselves when creating this resort, and it's great for all ages. From the pool to all the dining options, this resort truly has it all. We were so impressed with all the dining experiences we had. Everything was excellent. And we also found a new love in the boat transportation. It was so peaceful and so calm compared to the buses. We could not recommend doing that enough if you stay here. It only takes you to Magic Kingdom, but it's perfect. The wait was never too bad for us. It was just made this resort so much better. And of course, the cutest totem pole you ever will see is right outside a very well-equipped gift shop. So definitely consider the Wilderness Lodge on your next magical exploration. And to send us off, we wait for the magic folks to